Today I'm going to show you five ways you can speed up that slow, sluggish computer. The first thing I like to do when I'm presented with a slow Windows-based computer, or really any computer, is check disk space. If your hard drive is full, your computer is not going to perform well. So I just like to go in and make sure there is sufficient space on the C drive or any other drives that your computer has. So here I can see I've got 159 gigabytes free. I am good to go on drive space. If you do find that your hard drive is full or very close to full, I recommend you install a program called Windurstat. You can get it for free, just Google Windurstat. And what that is going to do is it's gonna go through your drive and list out what is using the most space. It'll also give you a helpful graphic that kind of visualizes what's using all that space. The next thing we're going to do is look for errors in your file system. You can do that with a utility called CheckDisk. To get to CheckDisk, you're gonna go into your start menu. You're gonna type CMD, right click on command prompt and say run as administrator. There, you're gonna type CHKDSK for CheckDisk and press enter. This does run CheckDisk in what's called read-only mode, meaning that it's going to scan through and tell you if there are any errors. If there are, we can run a CheckDisk slash F and it'll try to correct those errors the next time the computer boots up. You can't do it while Windows is running because sometimes those are file system errors that it can't actually fix while Windows is up. Now, if you're finding that CheckDisk is finding errors but it can't fix them, the next thing we're going to try is to run DISM. The command we're gonna run here is dism slash online slash cleanup dash image slash restore health. Okay, this is using the deployment imaging service and management tool, dism. And again, what it's doing is it's looking for problems and trying to fix them for you. Sometimes you'll find that dism can correct errors that check disk is not able to correct. The next thing you're going to want to do is have a look at task manager. You can get to task manager by right clicking on your taskbar and saying, task manager. So we can see in here that I'm using about 63% of my RAM, my memory, and about 42% of my processor. If any of these are kind of pinned at 100% or close to 100%, your computer is going to feel extremely sluggish. So you want to make sure that you don't have that problem. If you do, you can just sort by that category and you can see whatever it is at the top that's using up all of that memory or CPU. And lastly, you want to make sure you've got a good antivirus solution on your computer that is frequently scanning for viruses and malware because viruses and malware can make your computer very sluggish. My personal recommendation is Surfshark. You can get that at chadstechtips.com slash Surfshark. But really just make sure you are running a solid antivirus solution to make sure there's no malware or, or viruses that are causing those uh, sluggish, slow computer problems for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.